begin, begin this morning's program with music and reflection as we approach 8.46 a.m. At 8.46 a.m., we'll take our first moment of silence to signify the moment when the first plane hit the first tower of the World Trade Center. After the moment of silence, we'll then bring in our honor guard for the presentation of the colors. rise for the first moment of silence until 8.47 a.m. standing for the presentation of the colors. for the Pledge of Allegiance. Present! Oh. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, 
the United States of America. We are public for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm going to invite up now Allison Guilard to sing the national anthem. Chestahova to please say the invocation. Gracious and loving God, as we gather in this sacred shadow and solemn remembrance of the attacks on September 11, 2001, we honor the lives lost, the heroes who emerged, and the resilience of our nation. We ask for your presence to be among us now and always, comforting those who mourn, healing those still bearing great wounds, and inspiring all of us to be instruments of peace in a world torn by violence and division. May this moment be one of unity and renewed commitment to the values that lift us beyond tragedy towards love of one another. As we reflect on the memories and lessons of that day, may we feel your guiding hand upon us leading us toward a future full of hope. We pray for the strength to face challenges ahead, for courage to be agents of peace, for the wisdom to act with justice and mercy. Bless this time of remembrance. May it be a tribute not only to what was lost, but to the enduring spirit that unites us all in your holy name, we pray. Amen. Honor Guard, please retire the colors.
I'd like to welcome Anne Wallace now for a short poem. She's the Jersey City Poet Laureate. Remember that even on this wrenching September day that took so much and always there is movement, bits of life that sputter and grow or quietly hum along as they must, that there are starburst asters reaching tall, waving in the first blush of fall's air, that monarchs alight on brilliant goldenrod and plan their journey south that children who never knew this pain laugh in excitement for a new year. And that as some, we sometimes need reminding, each autumn the knot of heaving pain softens and spins itself anew into the sacred web of memories, mine and yours, of all we lost. A web that when shared again, will continue to nourish and carry us through our collective loss and sorrow. We will approach our second moment of silence with music and reflection. At 9.02 a.m. will be our second moment of silence to signify the second plane hitting the World Trade Center.
stand for the second moment of silence. Thank you, please be seated. Now I'd like to welcome up several of our city's first responders for the reading of the names, the most important part of the program today. Good morning, thank you all for coming in for your continued support. Alak Argawal. Ivan Corellius Fairbanks Barbosa. Sherry Ann Bordeaux. Edward Calderon. Sawana Talasani. John Robert Cruz. Jamal Lagues DeSantis. Andrea Della Bella. Christopher Moore Dinkoff, Samantha M. Egan. Barbara G. Edsel. Nancy Carol Farley. Anne Marie Soleri Ferreira. Boyd A. Gatton. Rosa J. Gonzalez. John Richard Kilpain. Sally Ku. Andrew Lacourt. Leon Libor. Wayne Rong Lin. Alan Linton. Jerome Robert Lopez. Manuel L. Lopez. Joseph L. Lovero. Waleska Martinez. Francis Joseph Nazario. Angel Perez. Susan M. Polio. Ida Rosario. John Schlissel. Thomas E. Thomas F. Swift. Mary Ellen C. Zanetta Soy. Edward Raymond Bonacord. Nathaniel Webb. John Charles Willett. Su Cheng Steve Wong. Matthew David Yarnell. Robert Zampieri. I ask you all to please rise for taps played by the New Jersey Symphony Chamber players.
to invite up Father Brian Page once again for the benediction. As we conclude this time of remembrance, may the God of peace and comfort be with us. May we carry forward the legacy of those we lost with acts of generous compassion and courage. May we be reminded daily of the strength that comes from the power of love over hate, enduring hope that shines even in the darkest of days, and faith that makes sense of life's greatest mysteries. Go forth from this place with hearts committed to healing and hands ready to serve. Let us be builders of bridges, seeking justice, to be makers of peace. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace now and forever. This concludes the program. We're now we'll place the Freedom Wreath in the uh, Hudson River and the closing music from the New Jersey Symphony Chamber Players. Thank you all for joining us today in commemoration of 9-11.